Danimals, it's bridging time. Yes! That is gonna do it! Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. Seven Star Blaziken is here and it is no pushover. If you're not prepared with some optimized builds, you're gonna have a hard time beating it, especially in solo raids. I had an awesome time taking on Blaziken night one on stream with the Danimals, and together we cooked up a really consistent build for taking on Seven Star Blaziken, featuring one of the awesome new Pokemon introduced in the Indigo Disc. This Archeladon build can be Blaziken without an AI ally with Intimidate, but Blaziken is a physical attacking terror raid Pokemon, so like any of them, they're going to be a lot easier if you have at least one AI ally with the ability Intimidate. Here's a high level look at our Archeladon build and the 7 star Blaziken that we defeated with it. Next to Blaziken, you'll see our Belly Bolt build that we used to solo both Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. With just a few tweaks, you can repurpose Belly Bolt to also take down 7 star Blaziken. Our infrastructure is as strong as ever in the Danimal Kingdom thanks to the bridge Pokemon. Before we go over this build, I want to show how to get an Archeladon. To catch a Dureladon, fly to the Polar Plaza and then mark this location on your map. There is a static spawn for a Dureladon. Oh, right here. Once you catch your Dureladon, it's time to head to the school store at the Blueberry Academy. You can purchase the Metal Alloy for 300 BP at the school store. Go to other items and scroll down to your Metal Alloy. Use it on your Dureladon to evolve it into Archeladon. If you need to rack up the BP, make sure you join the Dan Square Discord. It's the best place on the internet to farm blueberry quests. Here is the bridge itself, Archeladon. Our build has max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, and the final 4 in HP. It has a modest nature to lower its attack while raising its special attack because we're only worried about doing damage with special attacking moves. The ability Stamina is the key to this build. Every time Archeladon is damaged by an attack, its defense raises by one stage. This means that Blaziken is going to do less and less damage to Archeladon. This build uses Breaking Swipe to charge its Terror Orb and lower Blaziken's attack by one stage every use. The bridge hits for massive damage with Electroshot. It's a two turn move. On the first turn, it raises its special attack by one stage, and on the second turn, it delivers a massive blow. While it's raining, Electroshot does not need a turn to charge up, it just swings for damage right away. But Archeladon cannot learn Rain Dance, which is probably for the best. This thing would be absolutely broken. Metal Sound softens up Blaziken for Electroshot. Focus Energy increases our critical hit chances to increase the damage output of Electroshot. This build uses the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. Time to see the bridge guide us to a victory over Blaziken. So there's a very set strategy we can follow that involves three Breaking Swipes to lower Blaziken's attack. That combined with the AI ally Staraptor, which as we talked about earlier, is a key to this build. Blaziken being a physical attacking 7-star Terror Raid Pokemon means that we are going to want AI allies with Intimidate. And against Blaziken, most of the time, you need at least one AI ally with Intimidate. I have one of the best right there, Staraptor, because it also knows Feather Dance to harshly lower Blaziken's attack. So we're going to use three Breaking Swipes. Then you want to Terrastalize as soon as possible. Why? Because we don't want uh, the low kick to be super effective against us anymore. We get rid of that Steel Typing. So we don't unfortunately get taunts. We have no way to stop that Swords Dance. Let's see. Okay, one more. Then we're gonna Terrastalize as soon as possible. The low kick, the low kick critical hit can end a run once you're Terrastalize. So be aware of that. You can also win without an AI ally with Intimidate, but if you're gonna have a lot easier time with an AI ally with Intimidate. The first one, we didn't have one, but I just recommend if you can, just reset so you get one. It makes things a lot easier with this build and every build. So, while we're terrestrializing, I want to know what are you using so far to take down 7-star Blaziken? This thing is actually pretty tough to solo. I mean, I've, I've done it with Belly Bolt, which we've covered on the channel before. Make sure you check out our Belly Bolt video. You can repurpose that build, the one we use for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves, for this. But right now, it is time for the bridge to stand tall to the test against a 7-star Blaziken. So we use Focus Energy as we Terrastalize. That way it increases our critical hit chances. We're doing that because Electro Shot, that it takes a while to charge up. We have one turn of charging, raising our special attack, and then we use the attack. We have no way to raise our special attack other than Electro Shot. So we need to make sure that increases our critical hit chances to increase our damage. So now, that's our three breaking swipes, our focus energy. Now we use Electro Shot until the bridge breaks Blaziken's shield. So you see, look at that beautiful. The Sky Arrow Bridge from Unova. 
You know of a coming soon? Pokemon Day news? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but we get to just see it, and we just watch. Gardevoir is a nice AI ally as well. It uses Life Dew. But we have to be patient. And man, if this thing had Rain Dance, it would be beyond broken. For Terror Raids, I wish it didn't, but for battling, I'm glad it doesn't. So the bridge just gets stronger. So like we talked about earlier in the video, stamina, an absolute key to the build. Every time we got hit, our defense raises. But that's excellent damage, and that's only going to get more, because every time we use it, a special attack, there's a critical hit. So we should be able to break this shield with our second Electro Shot? Perhaps. Okay, so we are going to take some damage here. Again, the critical hit chances... The critical hit chances are going to hurt us. Focus Energy will bridge the gap between Blaziken and his shields. Love it, love it. <laughs> All the bridge puns in the comments, please. I enjoy reading them. <laughs> so we're going to eat that Earthquake. Again, the critical hit is the only thing that can really hurt us, because then that'll ignore all of our stamina. But now the bridge will just charge on up. And yeah, we're bridge people now. Us animals kind of like the trolls that live under bridges. They ask, they yeah, yeah, answer their riddles you can pass. That's kind of us now, because we're just big believers in the bridge. So that the stamina is going to keep charging us up. We can take our time. It's kind of the, the electro shot bridge, the sky shot bridge. That is going to pop the shield, so that's big. That's two. So at that point, when we pop the shield, I want to use Metal Sound two times. That way, if both of them hit, the next Electro Shot is going to end it right there. If it misses, you can just go ahead, just keep Electro Shotting. But I would say use Metal Sound, hit or miss, use it two times. Because otherwise, you can just use two Electro Shots and finish it off. But using Metal Sound twice, and then Electro Shot that takes up four turns... Two Electro Shots and a Metal Sound, five turns, so it's a little bit optimized. So you'll see, we will have some extra time. So you should be able to win this, even without an AI ally with Intimidate. We did it first, without one. But you'll see, with Intimidate, life is so much better. So, now you can just enjoy one last Electro Shot. It only took three, so pretty pretty good. I put it up there against with Belly Bolt, with all the other builds. It's not your one-hit KOs in groups, that's the way to go, but... I leave you the bridge. What more to say? It's the the bridge to victory. It's putting us over the competition, bridging the gap between the Danimals and Seven Star Blaze again. Danimals, it's bridging time. Yes! That is gonna do it! Half the HP, Archeladon, consistent solos, super powerful, and the bridge just looks awesome. It is a bridge too far for Blaziken. Now let's catch this thing. Danimal, what Pokeball are we using? For Blaziken? For Blaziken, for me, it has got to be the Fastball with the red and the yellow stripes. Let me know in the comments what you are catching Blaziken in. Let me know in the comments if you try this build out or what you are using to solo 7-star Blaziken. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Electro Shot on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Blaziken season!